Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do a quick video on an alternative method for rigging your plastics when you want to use the Snell knot and the hook that you're using doesn't have a keeper. And what I mean by a keeper is that little, uh, that little guy right there that, um, that owner has on their owner jungle flipping hooks. It's kind of a hand tied little keeper to keep your hook, your baits from sliding down the hook. That's the hook that I use for almost all my flipping, unless I'm using an extra wide gap style hook like the owner rigging hook. But it's the owner jungle flipping hook five aught. Your flipping hooks or straight shank flipping hooks have a little keeper on there for your plastic. So this will help those guys that don't have that on there. Before I get right into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback on this idea. It's not my own. It is something that I learned from other fishermen like we do with just about everything. It's all passed on from angler to angler. With that, let's get right into it. I have my standard, you know, flipping setup. Actually, this is like what I would call not even a flipping setup. This is my punching setup. It's a uh, Lose Super Duty uh, speed stick, 7-Eleven, heavy power, fast action. And I do like to snell my knots if I'm using straight braid and punching into super heavy cover, heavy matted vegetation, hyacinth, hydrilla, uh, milfoil, any type of vegetation. I really like the snell knot. And that's the reason why, because that cantilever type action that really I feel like drives the hook into the fish's mouth and gives you a better opportunity at hooking and landing more fish in that really heavy cover and using big weights like this ounce and a quarter uh, striking tour grade tungsten. So, but to get right to it, this is going to help kind of, um, and, and some of the hooks out there that I've noticed over the years is that little keeper will slide down and you sometimes end up cutting it off. This is a great alternative method for keeping your plastics on your hook when you don't have that keeper. All right, I got a Strike King rodent right here. And what I do is, I think I read about this, but I forget the exact train of thought. I think it's something like a pro angler years ago was doing this method in order to um, just keep his hook, his baits from sliding down. So you just run your bait down on like you would, just like anything. And then before you Texas rig it, kind of make sure that everything's as it should be. My little bobber stops in place, if you're using a bobber stop. And then you just go ahead and Texas rig like anything. And that's, that's it. That'll help keep your bait in place. Let me just show you what's going on here. See that the knot comes all the way through. You just Texas rig it and you run the plastic over the eye of the hook and onto the line. Now I will say what I've noticed about this is you will go through more plastics because they will tear, but it hangs nice and straight. Basically that line's going to cut through your bait after a while. And if you're pitching and flipping into heavy, heavy cover, that is not the long-term solution, but it'll get you by and you can do it. But remember, you always want to have a sealed eye anytime you're punching or fishing braided line with uh, a straight chain type hook or any hook, because a lot of times that line can come around and come back through the eye of, of the hook and you can lose your whole rig weight and all, and those tungsten weights aren't cheap. So, and the fish of course, but uh, so that's basically it. I hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. You're just running the plastic over top, past the eye and onto the line. See that? And then it, as it straightens out, boom. Now it's gonna work better with baits that aren't super soft because you'll get more flips coming in and out of the cover. But just a quick rigging alternative for your Snell knot for soft plastics, whether you're flipping, pitching, or punching. That's it for now, guys. Hope you like this video. Love to hear what you think about that. And until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.